But guys, this is no joke. <laughs> I tell you, I've been working full days on this, but you physically can't because your hands get destroyed, your arms get destroyed. I have two complete tires right here. Hey guys, I'm Mark and you're watching Gas Tax. Today we got a couple things to do. It's actually a pretty busy day. First I gotta unhook the trailer, then I gotta run to Gurney, pick up uh, some reconditioned R32 OEM wheels. Uh, that's definitely something I wanted. So I found them and they've been repainted, so hopefully they look good. Then I got to finish up my ice racing tires. I would say I'm about uh, 80, 70% done with them. I want that off my list. Uh, and then I've got a different project. I need to replace a solenoid on a, on a bus thingy. So I gotta do that, a busy, busy day. So let's jump right into it and hit the road. But first I'm unhooking this and then my dog and I are taking a little trip. A few moments later. All right, guys, just picked up uh, the wheels. Um, I have my dog in my back, in the back, and I don't want to get the wheels scratched up. So one sitting right here. They look marvelous, 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 marvelous. Freshly repainted. Um, love it. That's what I need to finish my car. Aesthetically pleasing to see the the OEM rims. Uh, let me know below. I think I'm going to replace the center caps with the R caps, um, but I also don't mind the VW caps. But let me know in the comments below what you think. Well, let's get home and then start working on everything else on the list. All right, guys, we well, made it home. Let's check out the rims. Ooh, looking good. Uh, he just, the guy I bought these from just got them painted. Uh, and then he sold his car, I believe. So I got a nice set of rims here. I also got, uh, I just asked him whatever other uh, R32 parts he was selling. And he has this basically front front lip. I figured I don't really need it, but if he had it, I might want it. So I decided to pick that up. What I'm going to work on now is fixing, it's pretty cold today, it's fixing a solenoid right here behind me is uh ultimate toys uh limo bus basically i have a big family and this is our our family bus whenever we do events uh uh all go in this car so we can be together but that's the inside of the bus for some reason the back lights aren't working uh, I tried to replace the solenoids. I control the back lights with brand new ones. That one didn't work. Um, I don't know if I just got unlucky and replaced it with another bad solenoid because if I short the solenoid, all the lights turn on. So I purchased another set of solenoids. I'm gonna replace it again, see if that fixes it, uh, and then go from there. The bus is under warranty, but the only place that services this thing is like, Two hours away, didn't feel like doing that. I figured if it was just a solenoid, I could do it, but it's turning into a bigger project. But a little bit about the van is, I uh, was watching a Vehicle Virgins maybe a year and a half ago, and he did a review on this van. Uh, so we were actually looking for a family van, and we ended up um, going with this one because someone canceled their order and normally there's about a nine month waiting list for this someone canceled the order while we we're looking so we picked it up for a good deal uh, but I'm gonna link that video below on uh, vehicle virgin parking near Steen, however you say that <laughs> review on the bus and then if you have any questions let me know but let's jump into fixing this
let's hook the battery back up. Start this puppy and see how it is. <clears throat> this is a diesel, so we gotta let the coils warm up. Okay, bus is on. Main power on, lights on. And I think it's working, so what are the odds I just got a bad solenoid? What the? Let's go inside. So the main thing is this panel wasn't coming on. Alrighty. <laughs> Lights on. Perfect. That's what I needed. Alright, so here's a quick tour. Christmas themed. Right now. Bathroom in here. Yeah, bar area. But now I gotta put this baby back together. So let's jump into that. I keep on running around. These are swivel seats, that's why the brackets are a pain in the butt. Anyway, seats back on. Let's put the battery back and see if it is all working. Alrighty, moment of truth. Please work. I don't want to do that chair again. works all right well guys i am now taking the bus back to storage and then my r is in storage so i gotta pick that up <laughs> and then on to the next project all right van is dropped off for bus now back to home to do some other stuff all right back at home uh Here's my front door. <laughs> Anyways, all of my Black Friday shopping is right here. So what I need to do is load it in my truck, take it to my garage so I can make, you know, small trips and not oh, one big trip, not many small trips. You know, here's what it is. <laughs> Let's get loading. That's the Black Friday shopping. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to carry it through the house. Now to the garage, unload it, and maybe unbox everything so I can remember what I have. That is Black Friday shopping. Uh, I made a video about everything I bought, but let's just run through it quick. So you can see that this build is gonna start. All right, rear springs. They sent me black instead of blue. I wanted blue, obviously. Blue brake lines. Don't know what these things are called. Um, 
but it's where the rotor bolts onto. Rear and front rotor brake pads for the front and rear. Uh, miscellaneous bolts for the kit. Uh, these are to replace here with the blue. So, Chris Fixit suggestion. Some bushings, some screws. Right here I have uh, the center console, the rest of the bushings, air filter, cabin filter, headlights, rear shocks, uh, and miscellaneous uh, bolts. Then I got my skid uh, pan. And then I got the wheel liners for in here. And that, that's all I got from Black Friday on top of everything I already have in here. Uh, mud flaps, engine and transmission and Heldrick service kit. Uh, some interior broken parts. Uh, a bunch of stuff, a dash camera. Uh, paint to fix some of the fenders and yeah so that's Black Friday shopping uh, I need to now finish these wheels alrighty guys well now it's time to finish these tires uh, so I have one tire done completely and this is what I'm going to be working on now. So what I decided to do was drill these studs in or screw them in uh, with a quarter to half an inch gap in them. Then I go around and I squirt uh, some asphalt sealer there and then I paste them on. And then I tighten it, I screw them in, tighten it up with uh, the, the washer and the nut. And then I take uh, basically a piece of cardboard and I just spread up all of that paste, hoping that it will create a seal if there's any possibility that there's no seal. So if you can see, I did this, these three, and then I left these two. That's because it's easier when you're working from the top just to do these and then I'll go around flip the tire and then I'll do these because that will be on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put the paste in there and then bolt them down. Do I know if this will work? I have no idea if this will work. Um, but that's why I'm here. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, there's not too much information about how to do this online so i'm making these videos so hopefully we can learn from my mistakes if this doesn't work i'm definitely going to tell you don't do it this way um but if this doesn't work i've just wasted about a thousand dollars and 20 hours of time so hopefully it works <laughs> all right let's jump into it guys let me show you what i've done so far so this is what i was talking about i get a little bit of uh cork if you will uh, and then I just go around with a piece of cardboard, hopefully spreading it all the way around each uh, stud. And then I go and actually tighten these. The reason for doing this is I think it spreads it all the way around each, uh, each stud here, giving it a better opportunity for sealing. And now you can tell why this takes forever because you got to do this 500 times uh, so now I rest that there get my gun and I tighten them a little enough so there's thread on the back side so I can put a nut in the, the washer So now I grab a nut in the washer, go on the back side here, 
and it's hard to do this one hand. <laughs> All right, so I do that. Grab my wrench. And now, that's one done. So, you can see it sucks the, the wash all the way down in there, um, all the way deeper than the thread, well, to the depth of the thread. And now I do that every time. So, that's how I do it. I'm not gonna bore you with it. Let's finish him up. Well, guys, this is no joke. <laughs> I tell you, I've been working full days on this, but you physically can't because your hands get destroyed, your arms get destroyed. I have two complete ties right here. I just did 80% of one I did. 20% the other day. Now I've done about 30% of this one. And <laughs> my impact has gone through three batteries. It's 150 degrees. Um, it smells like it's burning. My hands are covered in this tar crap. So that's it for the ice racing tire series. Uh, um, yeah, you see, it's a lot of work. I, I'll go into detail if you want. I can uh, tell you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. But I'm calling it quits on this um, video of the Ice Racing Tire Series because, my God, this is more than expected. <laughs> That's for sure. And I want to get to working on the car, but yet I'm just stuck here drilling. And, and getting sticky with this tar crap. Look, it's, it's painful now for gain for later. But anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in. Sorry the videos are coming out a bit later now. It's only, I promise, because of this project. Uh, it's a terrible project. If you have the option, buy ice racing tires from somebody else. Uh, but I think it'll only make ice racing so much better. <laughs> that I've done it. Anyways, thanks a lot. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave comments below if you have any questions about uh, ice racing. And uh, yeah, until next time, thanks again.